Hi guys, David here with another science update. So today I want to take a stab at answering the age-old question, is college worth it? Or more specifically, is a four-year degree in a STEM field worth it? And I've seen a lot of different people answer this question in different ways, but today we're going to look at it in a data-driven approach. We're going to look at it from uh, this new article that's, that basically addresses the same thing, but it gives a comprehensive return on investment analysis. And this is a recent report that came out, and what's really interesting about it is that it estimates the return on investment or the increase in lifetime earnings minus the cost of college for ne nearly 30,000 different bachelor's degrees. And when it says that it's saying a bachelor's degree, a specific bachelor's degree would be both a combination of the major and the university or college where you studied. This data doesn't really address the problem from every possible angle of whether it is worth it to pursue a specific degree or to go to college at all, but it just looks at it from a financial point of view. And so for most people, that's going to be really relevant information. But if, uh, you know, the financial perspective isn't uh, doesn't matter to you, then maybe you want to just skip watching the video. But if you're trying to figure out, for instance, whether a specific degree or a specific university is going to work out for you financially in the long run, then I encourage you to check out the link for this article and, and, and you can look up maybe the specific college you want to go to and see if they have actually done the calculation for your major. But let's just dive in a little bit at kind of um, looking at some of the key findings from the report. So what's interesting is that they say for students who graduated on time, the median bachelor's degree has a net ROI of 306,000. So this was basically, um, you know, if you, overall it worked out for most people. Like for most people, college actually did result in more uh, higher lifetime earnings that more than covered the cost of actually attending college. But what's really interesting is that some degrees are worth a lot more than that and some degrees are worth a lot less and many of the degrees that I've found out, including my own, actually um, wind up a negative return on investment. Also, after accounting for the risk of dropping out, since some per percentage of people who enter a four-year degree do not finish on time or don't finish at all, the median bachelor's degree return on investment drops to 129,000. Here's an interesting one for you STEM people. Four in five engineering programs have ROI above half a million, but the same is true for just 1% of psychology programs. So in other words, you know, it really does matter what you major in. I think we all knew that, but it's interesting. We'll be able to actually look at some numbers. It also says that elite schools such as Caltech and Penn dominate the list of highest return on investment programs, but attending an elite school is not a golden ticket, and some Ivy League degrees have a negative return on investment. I also think it's important to stress that this data is by no means a perfect data set. There were a lot of assumptions that went into it, and so I've actually included a, a link to a, a follow-up article, which is how we calculated the return on investment of a college degree. And if you read through this, you'll be able to see that there are a lot of assumptions that they make. Overall, though, when they're looking at this return on investment, there are three main things that they're looking at. One is estimated earnings. So this is the amount that a student who graduates with a, a particular bachelor's, bachelor's degree can expect to earn over the course of their life. Um, the second one is counterfactual earnings. And so this is basically what that same student, had they not gone to college, this is the income that they would have made throughout this time, especially including while that person was in school. Because if you think about it, when you go to college for four years, not only are you paying to go to college, but you're also missing out on potential income that you could have been making if you had a job. And then they also include college costs. And this is going to vary from program to program. So that's definitely going to factor into whether or not you're going to have a good return on investment for a specific degree and university. Okay, so looking at the full data table, it's kind of interesting to play with it in different ways and see what sort of things we can learn. So first of all, I'm looking at, we have um, on the left here, we have the institution and then we have the major and then we have the ROI, ROI all the way over to the other side, which says adjusted for completion and underlying spending. So what's really interesting is of the top 10 most profitable degrees, uh, seven of the 10 are actually STEM. But the number one they found was actually if you went to the UPenn, University of Pennsylvania, and you majored in finance and financial management services, the ROI adjusted for completion and underlying spending was almost $4 million over against someone who just went to high school. Uh, so, But in general, it looks like computer science at Caltech, computer science at Carnegie Mellon, computer science at, at uh, Harvey Mudd College, mathematics at Swarthmore, electrical electronics and communications engineering, which is 
STEM related as well, computer science at Brown. So all of these seem to be pretty good, it especially seems to be a potent combination if you combine an elite school with a STEM major. I guess that shouldn't really be a surprise, but it is interesting to actually see those numbers. So looking at my own major, which was biochemistry, although it's listed, it's clustered as biochemistry, biophysics, and molecular biology, it was interesting to see that the range was huge. Uh, you could either, if you went to certain schools, like we have um, uh, quite a number of schools, like recognizable schools, Northeastern University, for instance, and others, you could make, the ROI could be over half a million, or it could be negative. Um, so there were quite a few schools with negative ROIs. So it really does depend. It looks like according to this data anyway, it's not enough to just pick a specific major, but you probably want to pick a, uh, a good university too. So to answer the question, is a four year STEM degree actually worth it? The answer is that it depends. It depends on where you go to school and what your specific major is. And I do think that in terms of basic principles and trying to make this work worthwhile on a financial level, I think that you should maybe consider leaning towards the engineering side of the equation because it seems like engineers tend to do better financially than say just like a general science degree. And I also think it really is gonna depend on um, making sure that you're not overpaying for your degree. So this is a new useful tool I've included as a link below. I would not consider this to be the be all end all because as I said before, there are some questions I have maybe about some of the underlying data quality, but I do think this could be a starting point. If you're thinking about a specific university or a specific major, maybe this could give you a hint as to whether it could work out financially. I do think that there's a lot more to your life than just the financial end of things, but if you're like most people, then though you do want to aspire for something that will bring you joy and fulfillment and satisfaction, it also has to work on a financial level. So at the very least, you could try to avoid a situation where you're gonna wind up with a massively negative ROI. Anyway, if you enjoyed the video or it was useful to you in any way, I would appreciate it if you would hit like and subscribe and join me again in the future soon.